I'm Heidi Troll, owner and chef of Gritson Groceries in Belton, South Carolina. We consider ourselves eclectic soul food, so everything we make is a pot of food. Um, and then it's all made from our local vendors. 80% of what we make is grown in our area. Grits and Groceries has been here for 12 years, and then I had a restaurant in New Orleans for eight years. The thing I learned the most about working in New Orleans is the hospitality part of the business, not just the food, but how to take care of our customers. If you've been here twice, we know you by name, we know what you like to drink, where you like to sit, uh, and I think people really feel warm and welcome here. When we moved to Belton from New Orleans and started our restaurant here, we had to build a whole new clientele. So it took a little while, um, maybe the first year or so, to get everybody accustomed to the food that we cooked and the style that we do it. And now we've got um, all of our customers pretty well trained. They know that whatever I cook is going to be the best thing they have that day. It's nice um, southern food with a bit of a New Orleans twist. It's a uh, probably a white summer tree. And it's a real treat. Good food by good people, and it shows. Probably the best of cheese that I've ever had. The shrimp po' boys are delicious. Our palmetto burger is excellent. The pomelo burger, that is absolutely scrummy. The pork is tender, it's very good. Well fried up pie is my favorite meal. This involves the pepper jelly. We fight over them, so we have to eat fast. <laughs> I go through the cookbook in the UK, and when I have lots of people around for like dinner parties, I'm renowned for my world famous fried chicken. And I have to say, I stole the idea from Joe. People like to have a piece of grits and groceries to take home. And it's hard to take home food that's going to last forever. So we had our customers pick their favorite recipes. Uh, and a little stories to go with each of them, and then that's how we made our cookbook. One of the beauties of having the cookbook to sell is that it increases our business without increasing our overhead. It helps us have a way to pay for our days off when someone's sick, or time off when someone needs a vacation, which we never had that revenue to do before. After talking to our other chef friends and restaurant owners, I found out they only make 75 cents a book when you use a publisher that owns your book. So with Lulu, we get to make the money from the sales and we get to keep it and put it into our business. The best thing about using Lulu for us is that we don't have to carry any inventory. We've self-published before and we had to carry such a large inventory between paying for it and storing the materials. It was really difficult. And the way Lulu works, it goes straight from our website to their website. We don't have to do anything. The advice I'd give to other small business owners is the beauty of having a book is it gives you a marketing tool to take when you're not at your place, to showcase what you have to offer. I mean, it's better than a business card and not much price difference either. So when anywhere we travel, we take them with us. We were at the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, which we do every year. And this year we decided to give out cookbooks instead of brochures and business cards. Everybody loved it and we got great feedback, a lot of calls and emails of people um, enjoying the recipes. It's a small expense for a, a great way for people to remember who you are. 